Good day, this is teacher Namia and we are going to learn inferring meaning of content-specific terms using affixes, roots, and other strategies. Before we start, let us determine the meaning of the underlined word. Ready? Number one, the damage done by the fire was dreadful and we almost lost everything that we have. Dreadful means A. Amusing B. Could not explain C. Terrible D. Unimportant And the correct answer is letter C. Nice one! Number 2. Some people are willing to wait for the vaccine, but others are impatient. Impatient means A. Anxious, B. Calm, C. Pleased, D. Reluctant. <laughs> And the correct answer is letter A, anxious. Very good. Number three, medical doctors and nurses as frontliners are compassionate to the pitiful patients. Compassionate, is it A, cruel, B, mean, C, merciless, D, sympathetic. <laughs> answer is letter D, sympathetic. Great job! Number 4. He added the invaluable painting to his collection of works of art. Invaluable. Is it A, futile? B, paltry? C, priceless? D, worthless? And the correct answer is priceless, letter C. Great job! Number 5. The man felt foolish when he locked himself out of his own house. Foolish means A. Reasonable B. Sensible C. Stupid or D. Wise The correct answer is letter C. Stupid. Awesome! On our second activity, you have to read each pair of words, then tell whether the pair of words is synonym or antonym. You can answer S for synonym and A for antonym. Ready, go! Let us reveal the answers. Number 1. Antonym Number 2. Synonym Number 3. Synonym Number 4. Antonym And number five, antonym. If you got a perfect score, congratulations! <laughs> Readers are frequently frustrated when they meet unfamiliar vocabulary words as they read. But jumping up and grabbing a dictionary takes too much time. Readers need to take what they know and gather clues in the text to decode the meaning of vocabulary. One of the important skills to improve vocabulary for effective reading and listening is 
inferring unknown words from context and using word structure to decode unfamiliar vocabulary. A useful technique involves studying of word structure to identify word roots and understand the word parts or affixes. This includes suffixes and prefixes. Here are the example of prefixes which is added in the beginning of a word. Among the common no prefixes are in the first box. So, when we say illegal, it means not legal. When we say irregular, it means not regular. The second box are the prefixes that show position. The prefixes in the third box show time. On the other hand, when we say suffixes, these are added at the end of a word. Here are the examples of suffixes. Now, try to answer this and circle the prefix in each word. Go! Let's reveal the answers. Next, and circle the suffix in each word. Go! Let's reveal the answers. If you got a perfect score, congratulations! And now, screenshot the activities flash on screen and do this on your notebook. Screenshot test B as well. As soon as you finish these activities, please send it directly on my Messenger account. Thank you!